Okay, let's consider the next one that is 51. Let two fair six faced dice A and B be thrown simultaneously. Even be the event that die A shows up 4. E2 be the event that die B showing up 2 and E3 that the sum of numbers on both dice is odd. Then which of the following is not true? Four options are given about E1, E2, etc. being independent. So, probability of the event E1 that is showing up 4, clearly 1 by 6 of E2 again 1 by 6. Options if we read because we have to identify which one is not true. First one says E2, E3 are independent. Second says E1, E3 are independent. Third says E1, E2, E3 are independent. Fourth says E1 and E2 are independent. Let us talk about the pair. E1 and E2, E1 that is A showing up 4, E2 that is B showing up 2. So, clearly we can see the product is equal to the intersection of the two. So, these two events are independent. Now, when I talk about E1 intersection, E2 intersection, E3, so it is a null set. So, the product of probabilities should be 0 if the events are independent but it is not the case because we see that E1, E2, E3 these are non-zero. So, clearly we can see here that option 3 is not true. So, correct option is option 3. So, this is clear in this manner we can identify the incorrect option, right? Okay, let us go for the next one. Okay, let us move to the next one. If A is given to me a matrix and A adjoint A equals A into A transpose, then the value of 5A plus B is to be obtained. Let us try this one. A adjoint A that is determinant A into identity matrix equals A into A transpose, right? So, we can write here 10A plus 3B multiplied with identity matrix of 2 by 2 equals 5a minus b 3 2 and the transpose that is 5a minus b here 3 2 right. Simplifying on the right hand side we can write here as 25a square plus b square 15a from this one minus 2b, same term obtained here and the last one that is 9 plus 4 meaning 13. So, equating the terms we get here 15a minus 2b equals 0 and the other equation from this one 13 we can say 10a plus 3b equals 13. If I multiply this equation by 3 and the other one by 2 and simply add, so I obtain b is cancelled. This gives me 45a plus 20a that is 65a equals 26 or a equals 2 by 5. Therefore, the value of b by substituting here 2 by 5, we can get here 15 into 2 by 5 that is 6 minus 2b equals 0 that is b equals 3. Now, we are looking for the value of 5a plus b. Therefore, 5a plus b equals 2 plus 3 that is 5. So, we can see from the given options, option 1 is correct. So, option 1 is correct. This is clear. Okay. Let us move to the next one that is question number 53. The Boolean expression P and negation Q or Q or negation P and Q is equivalent to four options are given. Let us try this one. P and negation Q or Q or negation P and Q. Let us consider this one applying distribution. 
we can say this is P or Q and Q or negation Q or negation P and Q. This Q or negation Q is simply tautology. Let us write the letter small t for it, the tautology word. So, P or Q and the tautology. So, this simply gives you P or Q. This is clear. Next, or negation P and Q. Apply the distributive law again. This gives us P or Q or negation P and P or Q or Q. So, here we can see that the term P or negation P will give you tautology and oring with Q will give you again tautology, right? And Q or Q is simply Q, P or Q that gives you P or Q. So, the result comes P or Q. So, from the given options, we can see option 2 is correct. So, this is clear how we can proceed for this question. Okay, let us move to the next one. Okay, let us take the next one that is 54th. The sum of all real values of x satisfying this equation is. So, we have to find the values of x first and then the sum of all the values. Now, x square minus 5x plus 5 raised to the power x square plus 4x minus 60 equals 1, meaning that x square minus 5x plus 5 can be 1 or minus 1. And we have another possibility that x square plus 4x minus 60 is 0, right? But there is a constraint when we are going to take the value as minus 1, the power must be even, otherwise the value will not come as plus 1. So, let us solve these ones. The first one, when we say x square minus 5x plus 4 equals 0, giving me x equals 1 or 4, right? Second, when I take x square minus 5x plus 5 equals minus 1, it is giving me x square minus 5x plus 6 equals 0, that is x equals 2 or 3. And last one, this is giving me x equals minus 10 or 6, right? Now, when I check the values 1, 4, 2, 3, minus 10, 6, when I am going to put 1 or 4, obviously I know this is going to become 1, no problem in that case. When I say 2 or 3, it is going to become minus 1, I need to verify whether the power is even or not. On substituting x is equal to 2, I observe the power is 4 plus 8 minus 60, that is even number, so this will become 1. On substituting 3, I can clearly see this will be odd and the remaining 2 will be even, so power becomes odd, meaning that the value will come out as minus 1, so 3 will not be a solution. This is clear? So, adding all, we find the required sum as 1 plus 4 plus 2 plus 6 minus 10. So, this 10 is cancelled out and we are getting the result as 3, right? So, from the given options, we can see option 4 is correct. Right, let us move to the next one that is 55. The centers of those circles which touch the circle, the given one externally and also touch the x axis lie on. So, clearly the question is talking about there is one given circle, another circle touching it externally and also the x axis. The center of the given circle is known to me. 4 comma 4 
and let us say for the required one it is h comma k. So, applying the result that the distance between the centers equals sum of radii it is giving me h minus 4 whole square plus k minus 4 whole square equals the radius of the first circle this is 16 plus 16 plus 4 that is root 36 giving me 6 and for the second one it is mod k because it is touching the x axis. Simplifying we can clearly see k square term will be cancelled out we will be left with an equation which has second degree term of h and linear that of k this is clear. So, clearly from the given options we can say option 3 would be the correct one. This is clear, okay, let us move to the next one.